Oh, the Lux. We're in for a treat. Oh, the tree looks so sad. What's the matter, Mr. Tree? Is this some kind of like voxel game? Or... We're just gonna circle this tree for a while? What's going on? I guess this is our intro cutscene. Is this. I haven't had any kind of menu yet in this game. I don't know if this is just the opening or. If you have to watch this every time you play the game, that's pretty brutal. Or is this what the game is? Please. On the song restart. <laughs> This is well over a minute long. <laughs> oh my god. Is this game just a screensaver? What's... <laughs> What's going on? What is this? <laughs> when does it end? <laughs> okay, so we're back to the tree now. Wait, no, is this actually... This is... <laughs> oh, this song's over. But we're still... <laughs> oh my god, how do I play? <laughs> oh, there... <laughs> I didn't realize I'd idled long enough. My controller turned off. I thought this whole game was just this fucking screensaver. Holy shit. Okay, now we can get started. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a Whittled Tree Adventure. Uh, this is... I picked up a bunch of games off of the eShop for a dollar. Or under a dollar. And I figured it'd be fun to record these and... We'll either find some really cheap hidden gems, or, <laughs> or we're going to end up uh, dealing with some real garbage. Okay, X is jump. X is like half jump. B is like proper jump. Seems to be my only controls. Oh, the camera's not coming with us? This is a house I've built for you. From there you'll be able to travel across the land. Your two items will be precious. Okay, jumping seems to be the fastest. What did, what did I get? What? What is this game? Uh, a leaf. Okay, I can slap. Can I, like, glide? Truck sack, coin berries, and I can slap globes. Okay. This game's off to a great start. There we go. Get the berries, make a little donk. Ah, of course, they have different donks. Oh, don't actually go in the water, it just slows me down and my feet get a little wet. Okay, I just murdered that man for no reason. And the caterpillar. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? Why is he like this? I guess I'm making him like this. Woodle tree, I guess, is a uh, murderous psychopath tree. Let's go. What's going on here? Uh, look at rocks that barely look like rocks. See? Uh, oh, man. That's oh. You can just go wow now that's a camera angle <laughs> why did why did they let you do this if i could lift the camera like up and down that would be real handy oh we collected another uh tree booger this one didn't bring me to my house again okay i guess i'll zoom in i wish i could like 
angle it down more and not go oh and you can play this close okay that's uh choices yeah i'm just these guys are doing nothing to me and i'm just murder them all right you know what this guy looks friendly he gets to live we're not doing a genocide run of <laughs> little tree like look at this guy he's just standing there hey guys how's it going you all look so friendly. Oh! What the hell? Okay, so I can't touch him. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I guess. Oh, we killed each other. Yeah, this is a weird game. This is the kind of stuff I was expecting from uh, dollar games. Like, these guys, they have spikes on their head, so I get that, that would hurt you. But... Yeah, this is just... this guy... Well, that guy's the first aggressive bad guy. He's the first one that I don't feel like I've murdered in cold blood. I feel so bad for those caterpillars, they don't even do anything, they just wiggle around. Okay, I want to go back up top. I want to see if you get anything for getting all of the uh, berries. Okay, I need to look. I'm gonna put who I don't know who made this game, but I wanna. I'm gonna leave that information for you guys here, so you can see. Oh, well. You can't. Oh, that guy throws stuff? Man, and this game could use. Uh... Oh, you can run! That's what the other button is. Wow, okay. I was gonna say this could use some faster movement or some checkpoints. That guy's such a jerk. I didn't know he was gonna throw crap. Alright, we got two. What about the turtle? Is the turtle a jerk or is the turtle nice? Oh, we can just walk on him. He's just he's part of the environment. Let me whack that dickhead. Oops. Okay. For science, let's see if we can get crushed. Nope. We just exist <laughs> through it, I guess. Is this water deep enough? No, it's still like we float. What a weird game. Can I swim in this? No. It just weighs me down. Yeah. I don't know, this is just such a weird... Like, it's... It feels like a game. It just... It doesn't feel like a polished game. Like, uh... If you guys are familiar with... Oh, what the hell? If you... Oh, this one. See, this one we're deep in. Weird. Yeah, if you guys are familiar with uh, Game Maker Jams, where uh, people get... Oh my god, there's no checkpoints. <laughs> people get very short periods of time to uh, make a game. Is that guy still asking why I'm hitting him? Yeah, this feels like something for a Game Maker Jam. So if it is, uh, I take back everything Mina I said, because it actually... Doesn't play too bad for something from that. Oh, God, this is uh. Oh boy, that's a camera angle. All right. This. <laughs> I. <laughs> I have so many questions, and I don't think I'll ever get answers. Wait, there's a guy walking on the wall there. Oh, this does go all the way up. Okay, I don't need to do the platforming every time. That's good. No. The range on this leaf is so short. It's really difficult to uh, hit them. Okay, watch out for Spiky. I like these little guys. They're, they're cute. They remind me of like a Kirby enemy. Some of these bad guys definitely feel like there's more work put into them than the others. 
Yeah, so I'm getting some weird jump movement where like sometimes my jump feels glidey. Oops, sometimes you walk off. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Oh, what? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to my camera? What happened? Is it because I reached the part up there that they wanted to turn the camera on? This is, uh. Oh, no, that blind. Okay. I'm just gonna play, like, close ish. Until I get back there. This is something else for sure. Like I said, it's not horrible. I could be giving it a much harder time. Oh, now we fixed the camera. Okay. Sure, th this game has a lot of faults, but for a little $1 indie game, it's actually... I mean, checkpoints would be nice. It'd probably make the game a lot more playable. Did I ever get those berries, or did I just fall off and die? I don't even remember. I guess we'll see when we come over here. I did not get the berries. Oh my god, that's such a li thin ledge. I almost said limb edge. That's such a thin ledge. Okay, I guess on the other side I can jump up top. There seems to be some kind of weird light effect on the edge of the. Uh... I think there's poles on the edge of these sticks, at least on the other end. Is that a goal up there? So close. Give me these berries. And then try to do precision platforming. There we go. We did it. Oh, so we're trying to bring the water drops to the pot. Now there's berries at my house that I can't grab. Are these things I can unlock with my berries? How many berries do I have? I can't press start. Wait, there's no menu? Okay, so this level's not open, so I do need to collect the berries, but not just for fun. What happens if I die in my house? Okay. Oh, I've got 141. Okay. 600. We'll do another level. Yeah, uh, I think... I don't know if games on the Switch can be... I guess they could be updated. Yeah, you can just use a patch. Uh, I don't think the dev is ever going to see this. I'm going to tag the game and the dev in the description because, I mean, I wouldn't mind if they see it. My main complaints are, I guess, the things I would uh, improve if possible for the dev is a uh, checkpoint system would be nice. I could still, wait, this level has checkpoints? Why did, what the hell? Okay, you know what, there's some, what's the point of this? This game has made some decisions that I don't know if I understand, but I mean, more power to you make the game you want to make I guess <laughs> um, yeah I mean oh boy I wasn't sure if I could walk across this or not but like if you could use the even just the triggers to angle the camera up and down a little bit uh, yeah like because this angle is way better than what I was just in where it was just a straight up and down Okay, so those worms don't hurt me. I am just a genocidal monster when I kill them. What's up with that light effect? That's really weird. Yeah, being able to angle the camera up and down, uh, unless I just missed them somehow. Some checkpoints in the first level would be uh, nice. I think it would have made it play a lot better instead of having to run back a whole bunch. Uh, the controls aren't too bad for this game. If you could, like, if they could be tightened up, 
it'd be all right. It's kind of like, hold on. So yeah, when I let go, he still walks about a step and a half, which can make platforming uh, not the best. Yeah, I mean, this game has its charm. It's not... It's not something I'd, like, recommend to all my friends. But if they were looking for... A goofy, cheap game... Then I'd say, sure, play this one. I mean, for the price. It's really... Okay, oh, there's a little one. Yeah, for the price, I think it's not too bad. Could definitely be uh, a lot worse. Yeah, so now I'm getting checkpoints. It's so weird. Why would the first level not have checkpoints? I thought the levels were just gonna get bigger and bigger and I'd have to run back every time. Unless I somehow managed to avoid the checkpoints in the first level, which I mean, that would be interesting. Oops. Maybe like a visible marker for checkpoints, like so you can tell when you got one, and you can not randomly miss them if that is what happened. That guy definitely looks like a knockoff Kirby bad guy. Yeah, a little bit tighter controls, a bit of bit better camera controls. And then I think this would actually be a pretty decent game. Oh, and uh, maybe a press a button on the first. <laughs> yeah, that was an awkward camera change. Uh, something saying to press a button on the opening because I... <laughs> okay, I walked sideways and it didn't walk me sideways there. It walked me on a weird angle. I think the uh, controls here are based on the camera angle, which when it shifts as you're walking can make things a little bit difficult. Oops. Well, I'm just excited to see what the other... Like here, this would be a good spot for a uh, camera adjustment. There we go. Okay, it's a little bit later than it should have been, but it's not too bad. I was expecting to do shit on this game, but it's not horrible. I don't think I would, like, play through the whole thing. Oh, I can shoot wind now. That's interesting. Okay, so the upgrades do actually do something. I wasn't sure if it was just going to be cosmetic. Uh, let's go for one more level. I think that's about how much of this I'm going to play for now. I might come back to this again. Especially if there's like an update or something, but... Oh, wow. I can see the camera being an issue in this one, but we'll see. If it just had some polish, it would feel like a more of a complete and enjoyable game. Yeah, it kind of feels like the whole game has ice physics and... Okay, so now that we got a ranged attack, I don't see enemies being as much of an issue. I do see jumping being an issue sometimes, though. So now we're back to I have no checkpoint. Okay. It's not too bad to get back up, but I mean, how hard is a checkpoint right here? I think part of the issue is I've been holding run the whole time. Oh, wait, is this? Oh, yeah, it's the end. Okay, I don't want to go that way yet. I've been holding run the whole time, and maybe that's why it feels so loose. Oh, no, no. Even when I just walk, he's still, uh... Yeah. Um, even when I just walk, he still kind of wobbles around. Oh wait, Let's sink into that. There's certain parts where, like, where's the water overflow here? There's water constantly coming in, but it doesn't go out anywhere. What's the deal with that? 
Okay, so here we go. We can climb up here, climb up here. Oh no! Wait. Why do I have a checkpoint here now? I didn't have one when I got here before. That's... Okay, I don't think you can change your momentum in the air at all. Let's, uh... Okay, I'm gonna jump off here and hold down. Oh no. There I could. Maybe if you just fall. Oh, if you're falling. Okay. It's good to know. So if you jump, you can change your air momentum all you want. But if you fall, you're, uh, just falling the way you're falling and that's it that's the end of your that's the end of your uh, change oh there's still there's still berries I need to get another upgrade be yeah, not a bad little game for a dollar actually I would uh oh we have 400 we can go see what the last if you got nothing to play, I don't know what the difference is. This one just leaves the weird scratchy marks in the air. Oh, you can hold it. Weird. But yeah, if you uh, want something to play on the Switch that's cheap. <laughs> Wait, why am I upside down? What? If I just... If I keep spinning, he... Why, Why am I... Why am I upside down? <laughs> okay, so you can rotate him upside down, I guess. That's uh, interesting. And he doesn't seem to right himself until you walk, but then he, he can jump right back. Wow. Okay, well, that was... Uh, is it Wood Old Tree Adventure Deluxe? Uh, you can get it on the Switch eShop. I have a feeling this. Oh wait, I'm right. I have a feeling this would be on uh, Steam as well. Can I walk on the trees? Weird. So how do I get upside down? Do I just? How do I do that? Weird, how did I... Oh, is it because of this? Oh, okay. Okay, well now I'm upside down and backward. Oh, and I hit the tree. Anyways, <laughs> this game might be on Steam. I haven't checked. I'll uh, leave a link to it in the description if it is. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you're excited for more dollar games. <laughs> I've got some on the PlayStation as well, and I probably can pick some up on uh, Steam if people are interested. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and take care.